I was always curious about science, but I never really fully invested myself in it as a, as a kid. Hey! Now I have the opportunity to do that by acting and hosting in a Netflix science show. Get ready to change the way you think about thinking on Brainchild. So it's like the best of both worlds. I have the opportunity to do something I missed out on. A lot of people say, you know, Brainchild makes science entertaining and fun, but it's always been fun. All the episodes dive into the science of everyday life. How big is the universe? What are dreams? Are there ways to get better at remembering? Do fish pee? Like, I want to know that. So I think it's it's good for parents, kids, people of all ages. <laughs> no way. You got the wrong idea. Hold on, hold on. Whoa. The hands are very cold. <laughs> Brainchild was like my silver screen uh, debut. Stop. God, you're here. When I read the script, I felt it came naturally to me. Because it was really just me. Like, it, I'm Sahana in the show. <laughs> I think that's what they really wanted. Someone who, you know, is relatable and, and goofy. And I was really able to be myself in the show and add my own jokes and, you know, have fun with it. <laughs> but I wouldn't say I'm a scientist. You know, I am a science communicator now. I'm actually in school for film. It's totally possible, you know, to do school and to have an acting career. It's just knowing that, okay, if I have some auditions this week, I may not be able to go to that party, you know, and who knows, that may have not been the best experience anyway. Hey, are you even paying attention? Or did you just check your phone? I don't think you have to be like a scientist or a researcher, etc., to have an interest in science or math. You can be a filmmaker or an artist or some other field and still have a curiosity to do fun experiments and ask these questions. So I think in a way that's good, you know, and inspirational for young kids to see that you can do all kinds of things. 